been hearing all spring and summer about high water levels in Lake Erie. Yeah, and another string of rainy days has caused even more trouble for businesses along the lake. News 5's Olivia Fechtel reports from Sandusky where high water is causing issues. Another effect of high lake levels, flooding in Sandusky. Lagoon Deer Park hasn't been able to open its petting zoo to the public. That includes this goat and 200 or so other animals. Blackjack the donkey is just one of those animals, searching for attention from people as Lagoon Deer Park remains closed. He likes his back scratch. He's my old buddy, Blackjack. General Manager Jeff Nielsen says water has backed up from Sandusky Bay and Lake Erie, putting his property underwater. That means the animals' pens are flooded. They're kept loose in this large enclosure, allowing them to find dry ground, but that means customers can't come in to visit. It's just uh, a hollow, shallow feeling. It's just, there's literally nothing I can do and I'm, I'm an island here. There's no it, uh, people say, well, pump it out. There's nowhere to pump it to. <laughs> it would come right back in. All my tiles are working in reverse. The animal safety is Nielsen's number one concern, but he's still hoping to open this summer. It's just a financial thing. It's just I make my money now to feed them all winter long and it costs upwards of $1,000 a week to feed these animals. Lagoon Deer Park isn't the only business in Sandusky dealing with flooding. At the Jet Express dock in Sandusky, several inches of water sit where passengers would normally wait. And at the Little Fry Wagon, water encroaching on the parking lot has been an issue. This is our first year, so it's a little challenging for us. Employee Lauren Adams says the water has caused problems for the business and for potential customers. It'll come up right behind the wagon, which like literally like floods and stops employees or um, customers from coming up. For Jeff Nielsen and his animals, the rest of the season depends on forces beyond their control. While some of the deer here actually love the water, it's not ideal for most of the animals. Coming up at 6, we'll hear what this high water could mean for the rest of the season. In Sandusky, Olivia Fecto, News 5.